Hi there, I'm Sandy Almack, artist and paper crafter here with the 24 Tags of Christmas 2017. And this is the sixth and last video in the series, four tags in each one, and I give them all away. So be sure to leave comments here on this YouTube video, as well as the others. And you can also leave comments on the blog for an extra chance to win. So yay for winning free fun things in the mail. And today I'm going to be doing these layered different uh, tags using different stamps from Purple Onion. Oh my gosh, Stacy Yakula, who's one of their designers, and I say Yakula, it could be Yakula, Yak Yakula. I don't know how she pronounces it. If anybody knows, please let me know because I always say her name wrong probably. Nonetheless, she does the cutest, cutest little images. Little critters that are just, they're adorable. She has an Instagram account that is highly inspiring because a lot of times you get sneak peeks of what the upcoming stamps might be because she just draws pictures of these critters doing different things and she doesn't draw them as stamps, she just draws them as cute animals and then suddenly six months later they're a stamp and I love that. But anyway, I decided that I would do something that I haven't done in a long time, which is some layering of the image. Because a lot of these images have a bunch of different parts to them. And I start usually by coloring one. And that gives me an idea of where the highlights and shadows are, and I get familiar with the image, so I know which parts are in the very front. And as I'm coloring it, I sort of think about what pieces I would layer and what pieces I would build up. Like on this one, I was thinking definitely that fuzzy part on the top of his hat has to be up front and his face has to be up front. Maybe his feet and his hands should pop up above his body. And the chair, you can build a bunch of layers in too because it, it comes forward to in your direction as you're looking at it because the back of the chair is in the back and the seat cushions on the bottom are in the front. There's those two arms off to the side that can be toward toward the front of the image and not in the very back. So I have the one and I can then take a couple other stamped images of the same one and just color the bits that I'm going to color to layer. And sometimes I color more than that because I haven't decided exactly how much I'm going to do, but I don't put as much detail in the, the parts until I get to the very front. So like this one might have the most detail in it and the most contrast in his hat because that's the piece that's going to be in the very, very front. You won't see the other ones. But here I've got him trimmed out, just fussy cut out a bunch of parts of it so that he pops up from the, the chair in the back. So he definitely looks like he's sitting on top of the chair. And then here's the cushions and the little critter himself. His ears are in the layer behind, so his ears are going to look further back. And then I have his head cut out separately, so his head pops up and see the rich color that I put in the hat. And then I put his little feet and his little little hands, which I actually trimmed out together, because then those kind of kick out toward the front. And then I just had to re-add my little polka dots onto the chair. You could do any kind of pattern that you want on it. And this is definitely the kind of tag that you want to tell the person it's an ornament because it takes a good bit of time. There's been some of the tags this year that I've made that are really quick and easy, and this is not one of the quick and easy ones, but oh my gosh, how cute. So as we did in some previous ones, I'm using some gray color to color the, the fuzz on the hat and then going over it with white because that's gonna give some dimension and some pop to that white. If you just do white scribbles on top of white paper, you don't see much, but you definitely see it more when you've got it on top of some gray color. So it's helpful to add some color to things like that. All right, so I just had to add him then to a tag. So I die cut with a really fancy Lawn Fawn die and gave half of it is black. So I added a black layer on top of that, on top of the blue, and then added on my image. And it's just so stinking cute. Look at all these delicious layers. I'm going to show you just the layering portion of each one of these others so you can kind of see how I build the images. So I've got my main snowman. I'm going to add on the scarf all the way down to his little lantern that he's holding and his little, little mittens. 
And then the hat I'm going to build in a couple parts. And with some images you might find that there's like one part that that can be built up like that. That the hat needed a couple layers because it's got the, the brim and the band that goes around and stuff. But just do your your best coloring on the very top layer, whatever's going to be on the showing on the top of the image. And then to add the buttons on and give them dimension, I added them on using some glossy accents. So I'm just going to take my little quick stick to pick up those beady beady little buttons and glue them on. And then I added him onto the same fancy die cut blue circle and I just added some snow. I used a Lawn Fawn sloped hillsides die to make a little hillside for him so he has some snow to sing in front of. I'm assuming he's singing, at least. Now this little guy is picking up a Christmas tree. So I did some fancy cutting for him. I wanted the tree behind him to feel like it was going back. So I, I cut that hole like to the left of his head and his shoulder so that that recedes further back. And then I cut just the little guy. So his little ears and everything are at the same level as this. And then I'm gonna add more layers on top so his ears will look like they're going backwards. And so his, his hat now, just that front portion is gonna pull forward because that's in the front of the image. And then I have his body and his, his one arm up in the front so it looks like his tail is receding because his tail is on the layer below that. And then again, I can add some more of that white fuzz using a pen onto that hat. Since I have all of that dark color on there, it's gonna show up really nicely. And he's really adorable. I'm gonna be using these guys in cards that I'm gonna show on Instagram, by the way. So if you wanna see more of how I might use them on cards, then check out my Insta in the near future. And here is a side view of this little guy on his little snowy hillside, little round tag. And next we have one more, which is this car. And this one was really fun because I got to think about how a car is constructed and how the different parts pop up from one another. I wanted all those little vertical and horizontal pieces of the car to kind of pop up from behind it so that it looks like the wooden rack is behind that ridge on the top of the truck and like the hood is up now and the hood is that little piece that I just glued on so it has that that ability to feel like it's dimensional it's popping towards you in space and then each one of the the wheels something would you call that the wheel wells is that what they're called I don't know what that's called they're like shoulders on the wheels or something like that anyway did some crazy coloring on those to make them look really dimensional since they were in the very front and he's got his little yellow hat on and then I added on some parts for the wheels to give them a little more pop as well and he's got a little round tag to be on as well he had to be on a bigger one because he's a bigger stamp and there you go you get a good view of how much dimension there is on little tags like these they're so fun to make even if they do take some extra time I personally think they're worth it because look how cute they are. So somebody's gonna win one of these in the mail. Make sure you leave comments in the description or in the doobly-doo down below and then leave comments on my blog and then hop over to my Bible journaling channel to learn how to make little books out of chocolate bars, both nuggets and the little fun size, which are not fun size. And you can go see how to make those. You can actually turn them secular by writing your own little messages on papers instead of using the Bible verses. And that's about it. That's the last of the tag series I will be announcing next week on my blog, The Winners. So good luck to you. Leave comments all over the place and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.